matter must be dismissed in the interest of justice, and the people so move to dismiss the indictment. Mr. Pazella is ordered to be released immediately. Thank you. It's finally over. It's finally over. In my heart, what I was saying is, you're my husband, and you go home with me today. After all the years, all the way to the age of 51, I finally got my name clear. Steps. He was not angry, and he wasn't going to try to uh, uh, point fingers. I'm glad that it's over with. Whatever the prosecution and, and the police did, I'm, I'm going to let it go, because I got to move on with my life. If I worry about what they did, I'm never going to get anywhere where I need to go. All those years behind bars, Dewey had been preparing for this day. The day he would be free. Free to live the life he fought so hard for. Today, Dewey Bozella fights for a new generation, using his skills as a boxer to teach the values and the discipline the sport taught him in prison. He also holds on to a dream, to get back one small piece of the life that was taken from him. He wants just one fight as a free man. It'll be easy to train for, considering he's already won the most difficult fight he'll ever face. A man's reputation is everything. If he's fighting for something that's of a worthy cause. My worthy cause was my freedom. I'm Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the recipient of this year's Arthur Ashe Award for Courage, Dewey Bozella. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Good evening. The late, great, legendary boxing trainer, Gusty Amato, spoke about fear. He said, the hero and the coward both feel the same thing. But the hero uses this fear and projects it onto his opponent while the coward runs. This is the metaphor for all of us. Never let fear determine who you are. Never let where you come from determine where you are going. When I discovered this quote in the early days of my imprisonment, it truly inspired me. I memorized it. Every day I had to ask myself, how do I survive this nightmare in Sing Sing, a place where hate and anger or the order of the day. I didn't merely want to survive, I wanted to thrive. Boxing awakened me. I felt free during my workouts for the first time. I was no longer a prisoner. My vision became clear. I vowed to save children through teaching boxing and sharing my story. Hopefully, I can save others. My purpose now is to help all children understand
how truly viable life is. It took close to 32 years of battling to get where I am today, and by no means to struggle over. My dream is to open my own gym and teach boys and girls the discipline of boxing. My dream now is more urgent than ever. The gym I've been training at New Bird, New York has just been closed. Now the kids who I worked out with every week in this gym have nowhere to go. I too seemingly had nowhere to go and no one to be with. Now, look at this. My dear wife, Trina, and our daughter, Diamond, I thank you for your dying love and support. Thank you also, Alan Thomas, a man who has been a father figure in my life for so many years. To all the lawyers involved in my case, Wilma Hale Law Firm and Innocent Project, thank you. Thank you for believing in me and for your steadfast commitment to uncovering the truth. Thank you for your dedication and belief in me, and most of all, for making me a free man. Lastly, but not least, thank you to ESPN for honoring me with the Arthur Ashe Cover the World. I am humbled and overwhelmed with joy. Thank you, and may God bless you all. Good night.